It's a very emotional game. Uh, obviously, the win against Duke at home, and uh, you know, <laughs> a lot on the floor there. And uh, I'm sure, he would have liked to have slid over a few points to the Notre Dame game. Possession belongs to the Hokies. And Barrett turns it over, trying to find Kidd inside, stolen by Hampton. Salas looking for his offense early and finds it. Aaron matched up with Carr. It's Kidd versus Reed inside. With a hook. On the drive, Padula fights. He's got all five for the Hokies. But he's uh, such a smart player. And they can make plays, and that's what he'll do. Carr will take it. Three point guns in this game. Talented player, Andrew Carr. He's from Pennsylvania, transferred from Delaware. Collins going baseline. He goes over. All five starters, double figures, including Boopy Miller, as Wake Forest has begun this one, three of four from deep. And it's a cheap foul to pick up. Michael Cote, first Hokie off the bench, Reed to the basket. Four of the five starters have scored for Wake. Boopy through the traffic, finds the corner. He'll drift to Reed, he'll take it. To three! Lost it. Poteet falling backwards to keep it alive for Virginia Tech. Uh, Luke and Miller trying to do too much off the dribble. Padula hits for three. Miller to the corner. Bill Drift, the only starter, hasn't scored until now. Hunter Couture stripped by Bill Drift. He gets it back and scores with a left hand going glass. I don't think the defense has been that poor. The offense is scoring at will. Salas well, keeps it going. I mean, that, you know, but I thought he wakes three point shots. Collins, nice pass. Coteet, Just him and this a nice, I love the bounce pass right there. No, he. Not generally relaxed. Collins over Matthew Marsh. Four points for MJ Collins. Hildred step back three. That was pretty. It's a legal screen on Wake going back to Tech. Yeah, just a step back and uh, just. He made two threes at Notre Dame. That was the first time he made multiple threes in the game since early January. MJ Collins also a guy who's had his struggles from the IBR. You're right on line with that. That was good from the time he let it go. And this is the part of the game. The tour takes a lot of pressure off there. Hildreth to the basket. Contact. Bucket. Count it for Cameron Hildreth. Guard this guy. Well, one, you got to sit on his right hand. But he has got some strength in his own right. Looking inside. Couture. Top of the key three. Bang. Turned it over 12 times in the first half. The last time these two men 
down to Winston-Salem. Missoula gets an easy two, beating Miller. Keepers missed their last four shots out of the score in nearly four minutes. Through the years, we've had two Oklahoma natives on the court at the same time. That's what we got here with Padula and Fredrickson. Parker tour over Hampton Reed. I remember a guy named Mark Price. Kay's with it. Kid spinning on Reed. Kid gets the ball. And Kid. Tony said that on my Mike Young has got to be frustrated to get two free throw misses on an 8 0 run. You give up the rebound, and then yeah. Poopy Miller yeah. scores yeah. two. So it's definitely hurt, especially in the offensive line from the free throw line. Tap, Pookie, once again, finds that spot about 12 feet away. He's got 12 points here in the first half. He goes four rebounds and three assists. Wild shot for Padula. Efton Reed pulls down his third board, and then Padula climbs up his back. Tucker Center and NC State and others haven't gone in. Hunter Couture's got 12, and the Hokies are within seven. Much better defensive presence by Virginia Tech covered out on shooters, very active. Barron for two. Efton Reed on the dive, throws it down. Yeah, look, and he just, uh, you know, Reed has just set the screen to do that double screen up top and then they'll put teeth in with Kidd that fouls that may become an issue with the front line that uh, Wake puts out there. I continue to hammer inside. Reed gets the bounce. Like that, I mean, that, that play is going to be there. Padula, quick break. Salas with six. Top two goes for Hunter Salas. Which is five of eight here in the second half. Hunter Couture over Empton Reed for three. <laughs> he just wants to get a stop. Kid open underneath. Scores. He actually made that one a little bit more difficult. Had trouble pitching it initially, but a great back screen by Hildreth with a quick answer. They've had their final two regular season games at home. They haven't lost all year. But Hunter Couture doing work tonight here in Blacksburg. If Wake's Hunter can respond, Hunter versus Hunter. Salas scores. Yeah, he's made some tough shots. Duel's been happy to set people up. Great for his It's almost to say to the point where if you're those guys, let a basket go inside rather than even this close. Couture! Three more! The key word is they've had to struggle and then strain for every basket. Poteet, blocked by Reed. Mike Young might get a technical. Aaron lost his dribble. Pass deflected and stolen. Deep into transition. Boopy to the bucket. Couture. Last pass. Pote throws it down. Twenty-nine to twelve in the second half. Efton Reed flips it in. It would not be good for their tournament hopes. They lose another one after the setback in South Bend. Kid. Hildreth trying his butt off and yet Couture still getting free. Collins to Kidd. Boom! Plus the foul. 
No, not the second half, but uh, I've seen some great interior passing. Regression can be a painful thing. Nice interior passing again. Six minutes to play. They would have had to review that one. His toe was on the line, and uh, Miller finally gets to the rim. Steve Forbes speaks. Dallas had it poked away. Paduma to the basket. Oklahoma, Oklahoma crime right there. A guy like Couture gets on that kind of run. I mean, he, he can flat out beat him. And then he's closing in on his career high. And Jay Collins helps the cause for the Hokies as well. And terrific in this game going into the rim. That's his strength. He's got the reach. Hunter Salas still in single digits. He's got nine. It is, uh, it is 18 points for a team like this that can score now 20. Fredrickson. Step back three. Cashes it in. 11 point game with three and a half to play. The under four timeout, which will come under three. But a pretty good job getting back to transition defense with Salas. A nice take with his offhand. So Hunter Salas into double figures. Kind of look like daggers in the air. And this is a, this is a, this is a dangerous team. Oh, Andrew Carr got a piece of that shot. And it went in anyway for Robbie Barron. Five second chance points in the game for Wake Forest. You're in the final minute. Poopy Miller now with 21 points tonight to lead the Deeks. Well, Castle Coliseum remains an intimidating destination for any visitor. That's the exclamation point. Fredrickson makes the second three of the second half for Wake Forest, but too little, too late. The Deacons. Fall to two and eight on the road in ACC play, and the Hokies improved to thirteen and two inside the castle this season.